guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about another case that just makes me irate. I've already vented about it to two separate people and I'm still pissed. So prepare yourself to be pissed. So I've often talked about the double standard between male and female pedophiles, especially when the female pedophile happens to be conventionally attractive. It's like everyone's blood rushes to the wrong head and then... <laughs> Here we are, I guess. I am particularly angry about female pedophiles simply because of that double standard. Because as we well know, being a pedophile in and of itself, no. But on top of that, when someone is a pedophile and they're being let off easy because they're a woman, it just sparks a certain rage in me that I don't think I can even really describe. So let's just get into it. Pedophile mother admits to having sex with her daughter's underage boyfriends. There's so many layers of fucked up because being a pedophile is obviously a layer of fucked up, but on top of that, people that your daughter knows. <sighs> a pedophile mother faces years in jail after she admitted having full sex with her daughter's underage boyfriends. Coral Little, 42, admitted 21 felony offenses on Tuesday, including sexual intercourse, oral copulation, and showing porn to a child. The child abuser began molesting one of the boys who was 15 at the time in September 2017. Little then turned her perverted attentions to a 14-year-old boy during the first week of October 2017. She would meet them in parks and parking lots or even pick them up from their homes and then drive them back to hers for sex. On one occasion, one of the boys sneaked out of his home after being picked up by Little. The absolute depravity of all of this is jaw-dropping and I know I've talked about this at length so I really shouldn't be surprised anymore but but I really will never be able to not be surprised at this level of depravity. Because I guess when I think about pedophilia, I don't think about the logistics of it. And what I mean by that is that like here, we see that there has to be a kind of strategy because of course, Little couldn't just like walk into the boys' houses, meet their parents and be like, hello, just gonna abuse your child, see you later. Obviously you can't do that. So there has to be this whole level of secrecy of meet me in this parking lot at this time when it's not busy, when it doesn't look suspicious and all this other shit. And I think that's an extra layer of what disgusts me, like the premeditation of, okay, I can't be seen with this person in public because it's gonna seem weird. So let me pick them up here at this time. And it's, ugh. That adds an extra level of disgusting to me. It's disgusting to begin with, but now, I could vomit. I love how shady this article is towards her by calling her a pervert consistently. I mean, I agree, but I think it's a little humorous. Then they drove to the pervert's house where she sexually abused him before she drove him back at 5 a.m. the next morning before the parents woke up. And again, here we see the logistics that I'm talking about, right? None of this is just casual or just happened. Like all of this is premeditated. I think it should also add a, an extra layer of seriousness because we've seen cases where people claim, oh, it was a mistake. Like it only happened once it was a mistake. And you guys know I don't by that bullshit. But I do think that because this is so premeditated and so scheduled, they should also take that into account because she's trying to be quote unquote smart about how she abuses people, which to me is a massive red flag. The victims were school friends of Little's daughter who attended Redwood High School. Little, whose husband Eric is now divorced, her worked as a masseuse at the time of the abuse. She blamed her behavior on low self-esteem and the death of her sister, which she says made her feel depressed. I am so tired of people trying to use depression to justify shit like this. Depression can justify you taking days to text back your friends. Depression can justify having difficulty to take a shower, okay? Depression will never, will never justify abusing children. It's never gonna work that way. Don't even try it. I'm so tired of that because it just... I'm sorry about her sister, that's terrible, but abusing children won't bring her back and won't help you, and you'll be hurting other people at the same time. So if anything, it's the most destructive thing you could do. And low self-esteem, there is no real excuse for this. Low self-esteem, fine, find a partner your own age. Entirely empathetic about low self-esteem because I have my own issues, but there's no justification. I don't even know why people bring shit like this up, like, oh, I was depressed and had low self-esteem. Like, do you really think people will be like, oh, okay, then you're allowed to abuse 14? 
14 year olds. Is that really how you think the world works? Little's crimes were exposed after one boy's parents saw the nude photos she sent their son and contacted the police. In April, Little had been offered a plea deal which would see her handed a six year suspended jail sentence, meaning she'd serve no time behind bars if she admitted her crimes. This was my breaking point when I was doing research on this. This was my absolute breaking point because there is literally no, no situation involving pedophilia where I can justify no prison time. There's literally no pedophilia case where I can say that's not worth prison time. It's always worth prison time. How can that be seen as something to get probation over? That's actually being dangerous towards children. How can you say, oh yeah, I mean like they don't seem that dangerous, they're fine. They abuse children, hello, that's why they're talking to a judge now. Shaking out of rage, what's new? So thankfully the judge in this case wasn't a total idiot and so the presiding judge, Joseph Kalashian ditched that agreement after reading a probation report and discovering the full extent of Little's abuse. Little, who goes by the surname Blaine since being divorced, is currently on bail. Preliminary reports suggest she could get as little as four years in jail when she's sentenced on November 4th. So she's out on bail, which in and of itself is already, in my mind, dangerous because clearly she's a danger to children. I think that's been established. I've never been able to really quantify how much time I think people should get for pedophilia. Like it's it's hard to really put a number like so many children suffered at your hands that equates to six years like you know it's difficult for me to say how long but I definitely am happy that prison time will be given because these the sole idea of giving an active and dangerous criminal just probation is insane especially because and I know this is an old argument that is often used but again it goes back to the double standard because in what situation of male pedophilia towards a female have we seen no prison time or the idea of no prison time it's ridiculous it's absolutely Absolutely ridiculous. My thoughts were that the only reason she got the initial leeway was because she's a woman and potentially a mom to not take a, a mom away from her daughter, though I can't imagine their relationship is going that well after the daughter finds out about all this. So while I was researching Little to see if there was anything else she did, it seems like she also has committed some financial crimes. She was serving as the treasurer of the Central Valley Christian Booster Club and Financial irregularities were discovered and she has to repay $63,000. Now, the reason I bring this up is because she might be getting even more time than just the sexual abuse time, but the time for this financial crime, if that ends up being decided. As of now, I haven't found any decision made in terms of the financial crime. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments in terms of how long sh she should get for prison time. Cause like I said, I have difficulty kind of quantifying that. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right into the fan art.